Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, I'm of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody and some match preview today, we're previewing the FA Cup 5th round tie, Leeds United go to Premier League Chelsea, Stamford Bridge is the venue on Wednesday evening, it's a 7.30 kickoff for Leeds in London, I go up against Premier League opposition of course for the first time this season isn't it of course hoping to be playing you know Premier League standard teams every week of course next season let's wait and see but it's a break from the league uh, no pressure on Leeds United for this one it's one it, it, you know in my mind you can do what you like Leeds have a go if we get through we get through if we don't it's not the end of the world although there is the quarter final up a place in the quarter final up for grabs for Leeds or Chelsea it would be the first time Leeds United have reached the, the quarter-final in, I think, 11 years. So, let's wait and see what happens, but we're going to dive into it in today's preview. Let me know if you're going. If you're going down to London, there'll be a strong contingent of Leeds United followers, of course, in Stamford Bridge on Wednesday evening. Let me know if you're one of them, or if you have a Chelsea persuasion. What is going on at Chelsea uh, that's what I want to know from you guys down there if you're of a Chelsea persuasion. So let's get into it. Daniel Fark has had his press conference um, today as of recording. And he sort of echoed the same things that I've just said. If we win, we're not in that way, but if, we can, if we've got bigger fish to fry really this season. In, 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 in seasons gone past when we weren't in the Premier League, you would see this game as, wow, it's Chelsea. We're going to Chelsea. What a massive opportunity. What a great game to savour here. But we played them every season a few years ago. It, it's a game which we don't really need. Um, we're going for promotion, of course. It's, like I said, it's a game that, in my mind, we don't really need and is a little bit of a hindrance. You know, Daniel Fark has, has said that we've we've got bigger fish fish to fry we've got more important things on our plate at the moment there has been a couple of injuries to important players over the last couple of days it sounds like as well Patrick Bamford Chris Somerville Jorginho Ruta and potentially Dan James are all going to be missing from this game if they've got a little bit of an injury issue I would say keep them well away from Stamford Bridge on Wednesday evening we don't need any unnecessary injuries and risks being taken with players. Like I said, if we lose a game, we lose a game. It's it's not a sort of do or die situation. Huddersfield Town on Saturday lunchtime is a much bigger game um, for as anybody of a Huddersfield persuasion would, would probably relish in the in the fact that I've said that. But it is because it's a league game. Uh, the league games are well more uh, are well more important than the uh, the cup games in this in this. Um, situation for us now so if if they've got knocks or little injuries then then just leave them out it's not it's not hard to we don't need to win this game if we win it's a bonus it's a it's a good barometer of where we are at the moment really um Chelsea we'll talk about in a moment but it is it's a good test for for this team flying as we are coming up against the Premier League side which I feel like if we have a go at them we could probably beat or we could get battered. It's one of them games. Um, but for me, yeah, there's likes of Somerville, Ruta, Bamford. Don't bother using them. Even Dan James. I know he's said he's kind of sort of ready. But if he's not 100%, don't bother risking him. Maybe put him on the bench and see how the game goes. You know, if we think we can nick it, maybe put him on. If not, then just leave him on the bench or leave him at home. So I'd say, given that news, um, the 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 play the the team that I expect maybe far to go with is something like this: Mele in goal, um, Byron's back, so Byron at right back. Um, I think he'll go with left back of sorry Byron at left back. I think Roberts will go right back. I think he, I don't think he'll interrupt Ampadu and and Rodon. It's you know good cohesion. And good practice for them to play centre backs together at the moment. I don't think he'll swap that round, although there is an opportunity to maybe bring in um, Liam Cooper or maybe even Cresswell. I don't think he'll change it there. I think we'll see a, a, a two. I think he'll. I think he'll give uh, Cam. I think he'll give Glenn Kamara a rest. Maybe we'll see Archie Gray 
and uh, Ilya Gruev in the middle with, with wings of um, Jane Anthony and Willie Nonto. I think Perot will play the 10. I think it'll be a massive opportunity this for, for Matteo Joseph to show what he can do. Started the last Prem, uh, FA Cup game at, at Plymouth. I think he'll start on Wednesday night as well, given the news that Bamford is struggling uh, with a bit of an injury. Bamford will be disappointed, obviously, being a former Chelsea player. Uh, scored there a few seasons ago for us, didn't he? Uh, that'll probably disappoint him to miss out on that one. But it is more important he gets himself fit and ready for Saturday. But yeah, if we look at Chelsea, Chelsea, what is happening at Chelsea? Chelsea, 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 what is going on? You know, as of recording, Chelsea have lost the, uh, the, the League Cup final to Liverpool on extra time yesterday. Uh, one nil Van Dijk, last few minutes of extra time. Losing that final, sitting in 11th position in the Premier League. They finished in 12th position in the Premier League last season. It's just, obviously under Graham Potter, it's just, well, what is going on with that With that squad they've got, the lavish riches they've got, you know, in terms of the American ownership and everything like that. It's just not going right, is it? And I'd go as far as to say, and if you do lose, Chelsea fans, if you do lose this game to us on Wednesday evening, I think that's Pochettino done. You know, are you, are you calling for Pochettino out? Are you, are you ready to give him a bit more chance? For, for me, this is the end of the road for him if, 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 if you lose to us on Wednesday because it's, it's your last chance potentially of getting into Europe for a, a second time. No, no, no Europe this time was there. I don't think there'll be any next season either. You know, and where do you go from here? But for me, that's that's him. That's him done. If 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 you lose to us on 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 Wednesday, I don't think you will. I think you'll beat us. I do think you'll beat us. At, but it, like I said, it, it could go either way. In uh, of a Leeds United persuasion, I think you go and test them. You go and have a go. You go and see if you can beat them. And like I said, it's a good barometer for us to see how far we've come in the season against what what you've got to say is a mid-table Premier League side. You know, Chelsea shouldn't be conceding four goals uh, three times in a Premier League season. Uh, you know, and we're not even into March yet. It's it's pathetic, really. This team, from the outside looking in, doesn't have the mental strength, um, you know, when the when the chips are down, um, to, to go and, and, and win football games. I don't know, the manager doesn't seem to be able to put the fire in the bellies at all. And like I said, for me... It's it's cheerio to Poch if 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 this one goes the wayside for you. Um, I'd, obviously, I'd, I'd welcome that because it would be a, a Leeds United win and, and we'd be into the quarterfinals. But all the way across the board, Chelsea have an unbelievable, um, you know, set an embarrassment of riches, don't they? Um, you know. And, and players that can definitely hurt us on the day if they're in the mood for it. If they're not in the mood for it, we can definitely get at them and win. It's like I said, it's one of them games. You can't really call it because of the unpredictable and sort of lazy, sluggish nature of, of what has been Chelsea FC over the last um, couple of seasons from the outside looking in. Like I said, um, but you know the qu quality on you know on the pitch any day that can that can. Put us to the sword. Even Raheem Sterling is, you know, doing all right. Nicholas Jackson, who I rate as a player, hasn't really done it so far yet this season. But he's had he's had bursts, and we've seen bits of what he can do. Uh, you know, I rate him as a player. It's Conor Gallagher, Cole, Cole Palmer. You know, but defensively, they can definitely be got at. They've got a few injuries, of course, as well. And and I feel we can get at them if we're on the right track, even with our depleted. Um, you know, numbers and, and quality players that will be missing, I feel like, tomorrow. I still think we can have a go and, and maybe nick a, nick a win and get us through to the next round. You know, and, and I don't, I'm not having this, oh, I want Leeds United to lose, let's concentrate on the league. Any any game that Leeds United play, I want them to win. Let's, let's have a good go and, and see whether we can do it. It's a good chance, like I said, to beat Chelsea, having then played 120 minutes, and lost the game at Wembley uh, on Sunday. So, yeah, psychologically they may be a little bit down in the dumps. I don't know. Maybe they are all together anyway. Like I said, Pochettino doesn't seem to be able to put the fire in them uh, at any given time. But they have the quality if they're in the mood to really put us to, to the sore. Like we see with Middlesbrough. And like we see with Preston, obviously both championship sides have put to bed pretty comfortably in the end. 
Uh, let's wait and see if that's the case with Leeds United. But, you know, I talk about the, the embarrassment of Rich as if you look at the, the last um, starting 11 in the FA Cup, which uh, was um, uh, a replay win at, at Villa Park, 3 1 it ended to Chelsea. Their team was worth n- over £400 million, uh, as opposed to our game, which uh, our starting 11, which started the replay win at Plymouth. It's, I think, just just short of or just over £70 million. Pounds. So that's still a lot for a championship side. But compared to Chelsea, this is this is crazy money we're talking. And it's players that should be putting us to bed pretty simply. That it's players that obviously are out of form or just can't be bothered by the, you know, by, you know, outside looking in, like I said. Doesn't look good at all at Chelsea. I Like I say, I do think that Pochettino will... Um, will be gone if if they do lose this game on Wednesday. If we have a look, though, at the uh, our record at Stamford Bridge, it's absolutely atrocious. Um, we've no win in seven games in the capital at Stamford Bridge. Stephen McPhail was the last player to score a winning goal in Leeds United Colours in that stadium. He scored uh, a brace that day in a 2-0 win in 1999. Like I said, the seven uh, games that have come uh, after that uh, in London for Leeds at, at Chelsea have all ended in defeat, apart from one which was a nil-nil draw. Chelsea have won the last five meetings, including a one-nil win last season. Nearly a year to the day, Leeds and I went there early March 2023 and just lost out 1-0 to Chelsea. I seem to remember it was quite a close game that day. Chelsea struggling like we know they have been for the last couple of seasons. Struggled to overcome and then obviously struggling and eventually relegated Leeds United side. But you'd have to go back to the FA Cup final in 1970 since the last teams have met in this competition. Like I said, it was the final at Wembley. It was a replay in the days that the FA Cup final was uh, did go to a replay. Leeds United lost out 2-1 after holding Chelsea to a 2-2 draw in the original tie. 18 days later, Leeds and Chelsea went again at it at Wembley Stadium. Leeds were looking good for most of the game before a late goal uh, went, you know, put it to extra time and Chelsea ended up winning the cup in extra time. We haven't played them since in this competition. And there's a little bit of a rivalry rivalry going on with Leeds and Chelsea. I think maybe more so from the Leeds United side. Let me know if you remember that 1970 FA Cup uh, final defeat. Were you there or did you watch it on the telly? Um, you know, it's it's one of them things, isn't it? And like I said, a little bit of a rivalry, I think, was born from that game. But, um, yeah, we, we haven't won there at Stamford Bridge um, for, you know, for a little while. Um, what's that, 20, 25 years, is that? It's a long time, um, you know. And obviously, Wesley Fofana was the man that got the winner last year, last season. Obviously, he's injured right now but yeah it's a difficult task for Leeds but definitely a game that Leeds and I can go there and win if we play to our best and yeah got to have a little bit of luck got to have maybe Chelsea having an off day which we know they can do they've shown that to be the case of of you know recently um you know let's see how it goes and let's see if we can go there and win let me know your thoughts in the comments there below can we get to the quarter final for the first time in 11 years thank you very much for watching marching on together i'll see you on the next one